car got stranded. We were looking. Yeah, I got I got your play out. Yeah. Justice! Yeah, that's my career. Christian! 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 Ho ho! Nick Pillman's gotta go! Got it. What do we want? Justice. Justice. When do we want it? Now. now. What do we want? Justice. Justice. When do we want it? Now. now. What do we want? Justice. Justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. Justice. When do we want it? Now. now. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. When I say justice for, say Christian. Justice for Christian. Justice for Christian. Justice for Christian. Jamás será vencido. Jamás será vencido. Will never be divided. Will never be divided. Jamás será vencido. Jamás será vencido. Will never be divided. Will never be divided. And it's because of you all and everyone that called to complain about the San Bernardino County Sheriff. That's why they're not here right now, because they're going to get ridden up again. So make some noise for yourselves. Woo! you guys what happened so we just found out all right let me tell you guys so a couple months back there was a
At home. At home. Did David needs a sweater. Hell no, it's, it's hot right now. I'm gonna step a little bit more back so I can explain to you guys what happened. Because I just want to protest with them. <laughs> but okay, so a couple months back, there was a there was a couple females in San Diego that attacked that harassed the street vendor. They were touching his hot dogs, spit on his hot dogs, you know, took a bite of his hot dogs and then put them back. And we just found out that her dad, one of the girl's dads is a detective in Upland. So we were here like last week to protest, you know, and then all the cops showed up and they had it locked down and, you know, they were protecting him. But we just found out a little bit more information on Mr. Peelman, on Mr. Piece of Shit Peelman. Um, he actually shot an unarmed guy. He was 18 years old, shot him 10 times. They lied in the report and said that he had a gun when he had no gun. Um, well, they actually put it in his, in the report that he had no gun and they still, you know, they said that he pulled something out of his pocket and they thought that it was a gun, but he didn't have a gun. And this fool shot him 10 times. And not only that, but they beat him. The guy's name is Christian. So we, when we found this out, we went to the city council meeting right now. Unfortunately, I wasn't in the meeting. I was going to speak in the meeting, but I locked myself out of my car. So I had to wait for AAA to, you know, to unlock my car. But or else, I, you know, I would have I would have spoken in the city council meeting. But unfortunately, I had to wait for AAA because my car was on and everything. Um, but. Yeah, as soon as we found this out, we decided, you know, come back out to his house and, and see if he has anything to say. But it seems like he already got the memo that, nobody, you know, that, that we're going to come out. So he's not here. We're going to see if uh, any sheriff's pops up like last time. What's good, D-Street Media? And if anybody else has, if you guys could let them know why we're out here. Who shot somebody 10 times an unarmed suspect or subject I should say because he wasn't a suspect <laughs> Justicia Ahora his neighbor's house that house over there to the right of his house is protecting him backing him up even though right now right now we told him that what you call it that oh is it okay to to be shot 10 times you know without a, you know without being armed and he's like no that's not cool it's not cool but yeah he's over here backing him up <laughs> David needs a sweater. What are you talking about, Brian? Kill it. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. You talk about freedom, right? What? Why are you scared? Why don't you come here right now? Look, you talk about freedom, but you want to infringe on our First Amendment right to protest, right? This ain't, this ain't fucking North Korea, motherfucker. This ain't North Korea, motherfucker. This ain't North Korea. Me and you, let's meet right now then. Let's meet right now. Let's do it. 
Let's do it. Oh, you know what? But you had your little crony when you shot that Mexican kid, right? Ten fucking times, right? Huh? 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 You shot him ten times after you fucking tased him. You're a fucking bitch. You're a bitch. That's what you are. Huh? What did you tell your daughter? Look, when I went to your office, listen, listen. Stop it. You're, you're, you're a grown man, right? So listen when I'm talking. So I'm going to tell you right now. When I went to your office, all I wanted to hear was for you to say, you know what? I don't condone what my daughter did. And I gave her consequences. Huh? Of course what? Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. No, say it again. You, you, what? What did you say about your daughter? Hold on. But then when I looked at your Facebook, the way you talk about my people, saying that they're criminals crossing the border, that is a fucking lie and you know it. Huh? On your Facebook. On your Facebook, you say criminals come through the border and that's the reason why this country is going to shit. You know, you know what? You know what? Well, you know what? The majority of fentanyl, hold on. The ma hold on. The majority of, you all know, we're on public property, bitch. We're not on fucking your property. We're not on your property. We're on public property. Stop being a fascist. This ain't North Korea. This ain't North Korea. That's why you're calling me because you're scared. You're scared. You're scared. I mean, you need, you, you need a whole police department. Look how many units you have that day. Look how many units you have that day. Huh? What? 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 That's why right now you're over here threatening me? Huh? Huh? What kind of detective is that? Huh? What kind of detective is that? Huh? You know what? You know what? You're a little, you're a, you know, your dad. Let me tell you something. Yeah. 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 Well, we're the reason Trump got, we're the reason Trump got out of office. I've managed political, I've managed presidential campaigns. Well, you should ask about me because I've managed presidential campaigns and we're the reason that Trump is no longer in, in office. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm a fraud. No, you're a fraud. You're a fraud. You're a fraud. And we're going to get justice and we're going to revisit your case against Christian that you fucking shot. Christian was unarmed. That's why your city had to pay millions. That's why your city had to pay millions. And he hung up. <laughs> that was him? Yeah. That was him. That was detective. Uh, how do you get your number? I don't know. That wasn't going to answer. That was... Was it, was it um, a mark or did it have his name? From FaceTime video? Yeah. yeah. No, because he... Right. Let, me, let me see that yeah. number. Told, it, it ain't you, because he was cussing at me. He was yeah, cussing yeah, yeah, yeah. me. You know, yeah, like, I was hearing that. Oh, they, and then, and then he goes, um, you guys got the number. You guys know what to do. That was the detective, you guys. That was the fucking detective. Wow. Wow. I cannot believe that the detectives. He said, "Get off my property. Get off my street. Get off my street." Yo, what? Yeah, last time this I was having this issue. Hopefully, I mean I recorded it on my on my 360. Pioman got his number and was FaceTiming me him right now. Murder! Shut the fuck up. I got it all on video. He hung, up, he hung up on him. He's like, meet me right now, motherfucker. And I got it all on fucking video. Pioman. To me? Yeah. Shut Yeah, go talk to him. Shut Yeah, that's why I recorded it on my 360 because the 360 picks up great audio. And I'm going to post that video later.
you're gonna it's already up or it's up but people are saying that they couldn't hear it but that's why i recorded on the 360 oh, cool. for the audio the audio picks it up. yeah okay. i'll have to edit it it's me right there yeah Oh, yeah. you do your own thing too yeah on youtube that's cool uh do you work with ian a lot yeah. or you're just yeah. on your own i'm on the hold on We hear but we couldn't see. Oh shit. Now the LA Times is here, you guys. Ahora! Wait till he catches me alone. Oh, really? He's right no, there. No, and no. I'm covering the number because because he's going to try to sue oh, me no, for, for, no. for putting his number out there. But look, he's right there threatening me. He's oh, saying no. that his family's in there right now. Really? He said, get the fuck out of my property. He said, get the fuck out of my property. And if you go to Riverside County, but he's live, he actually got the cover, half of the conversation live. But prior to me FaceTiming, he's over here threatening me. Yup. Oh, you should have heard it. You should have heard it. Are we going anywhere? No! Are we going anywhere? Ah, you guys. I actually have great service. It's just this place right here is bad signal, you guys. Super bad signal. This happened last week, too. But any anytime that I'm live and anywhere else, anytime that I, uh, any other time that I go live, it's, um, it's great. It's just right here. This is, uh, yeah, exactly why I stood on this side because on that side it starts buffering, but on this side it's good. Eyes all around, appreciate that. What's up, bro? We came to look today without my dad. He stayed home with my sister. Oh, yeah? I don't know if I, I, I gave you one. I asked him one last time. <laughs> just got caught up with everything. Hey. Oh, yeah, I got it all, fool. <laughs> that, but for some reason, it didn't pop up that great because the signal over there is ass. No, he's inside a car, fool. But he said his, his family's in here. <laughs> exactly. Get Starlink. Now they on. No, we're not on his property. This is a public sidewalk. Once we cross that line onto the driveway, that's his property. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you real quick. Nobody is on his property. Nobody is on his property. 
We're on a public sidewalk. What's good, bro? Groove Shack in the house. Groove Shack Radio. Make sure you guys go check him out on Instagram. Right, we're gonna camp out on his yard. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> on his yard. Let's turn out how Rasa gets down, man. You already know. Like straight up, what he's doing is wrong, man. Like we're gonna spread in our gente, even Alex and Amarado. We're gonna be here to the break it down. That's all I'm saying. You already right? know. You already Let's know. Go Riverside accountability. You already know. Let's do this. Appreciate that. When I say protect, you say. Nick Pillman! Nick Pillman! Nick Pillman! Tim Grass, appreciate that. Fuck no! We shut shit down! 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 When I say fuck, you say Oakland PD! Fuck! Oakland PD! Fuck! Oakland PD! Fuck! Oakland PD! Fuck! Oakland PD! When I say Nick, you say he should get fired! Nick! You should get fired! Fuck no! Get out of here! It's worth three hundred thousand a year. No! It's quick. No! It's quick. It's worth two hundred thousand a year. Hell no! It's worth a hundred thousand a year. No! Shit! He's worth a penny. Fuck this penny! Fuck this penny! He's a coward. You FaceTime him. He can't come out here. You know what Nick is worth? Nick should be in the deficit, paying back all the million, all the millions of dollars that Upton had to pay. From taxpayer money That's to right. Christian Rodriguez. Justice for Christian. Justice for Christian. Justice for is it all a coincidence? No! Is it all a coincidence? No! So where does where does activism start? At home! At home, right? Where does activism start? At home! Where does activism start? At home! Teach your kids not to be like Brianna Pillman. Teach your kids. I'm allowed to be on the property until they tell me to leave. No, you're right. No, the laws. Fuck! You say Nick! Fuck! Nick! 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 Move out! Move out! Move out! Move out! Move out! When I say Nick, you say go back to Europe. Nick! Go back to Europe! 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 Nick! When streaming is gonna attack, what do we do? Stand up, fight back! When streaming is gonna attack, what do we do? Stand up, fight back! You know that this felt like like when your ex girlfriend calls you and calls you, hey, get back with your please. Please, he's like, please, get out of my house, please. Get out of my house, please. Fuck that coward. Fuck that coward. Fuck that coward. Fuck that coward. Hey, these nuts, calm down with uh, with telling people to get out of here. I, I don't want that drama here. So stop bringing up their names, what fuss. Are we gonna fucking leave? No. Fuck no! Are we
Wings, scary. We're not scared of you. Uh -uh. Nick, Nick Pillman, move out! Move out! Nick Pillman, move out! Nick Pillman, move out! If we don't get it, shut it down! <laughs> Shut it down. If we don't get it, 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 shut it down. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. Our land! Our land! Our land! Shut it down! 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 So there was a cop that passed by. Shut it down! I'm not sure. So we're here to hold them accountable for that. Again, we're right here at the black show. Justicia! When I step on this side, you guys. This is when the signal starts getting bad and you'll start noticing. You guys want the address? I'll give you guys the address right now. Move out. Move out. Move out. Move out. Here's in the city of Rancho Cucamonga. I'm sorry, you guys, there's a lag, but this happened last week too. It's just the location where we're at. Like if I walk over there, I lose signal. If I walk over here, I get good signal. Nah, they're awake, you guys. As a matter of fact, Nick Peelman. Nick Peelman called an amorado. Called an amorado and threatened him. You know, meet me one-on-one -on -one and all this, you know, big talk and shit. But like I said, you know, over here I get great signal. Over there, it's shitty. It's crazy. It's crazy how it works right here. But I have, you know, I have great service. I have AT&T. When people have T-Mobile, when they have other service providers all their cameras always look like shit but there's always going to be those dead spots those dead zones you guys and unfortunately for me this is where the you know the dead zones are on that side of the street but over here it's great like you guys it looks great right now right but then when i walk over there it starts getting all blurry and all this shit <laughs> Lou said, hey, River, relax on the T-Mobile. Hey, why do you call me River? What the hell? <laughs> What's up, everybody? I know I've been uh, put a sweater on, David. Dude, I'm sweating, bro. Look at my face. It's all clammy, all sweaty. Sweating like a motherfucker. Why would I put on a sweater right now? Is the pig home? No, he's not home, but his family's here. His family let him know that, you know, they're here, that there's people outside the house. So then that's when he got an Amaral's number and, um, you know, called him. And then Amaral thought it was like one of his friends, you know, playing a prank on him. He's like, FaceTime me, motherfucker, FaceTime me. So then he FaceTimed him and sure enough, it was that motherfucker Peelman. With the little seasoning.
I don't know how he got his number though. That's crazy. Rob C in the house. What's good, bro? Hey, is your signal bad over there too? Is your signal bad over there? Uh, no. I get horrible signal over there. Brian, I know it's you. I know, I know, Brian. I know. Stop telling me to put on a sweater, fool. <laughs> Seventh boy on his way. Oh, hell no. Hey, guys, Seventh boy's on his way. Let's go. Funny thing is that Silence Boy will never show up to one of these. He harassed a street vendor. He got a street vendor arrested. What's up, Bugsy Raider? We're not even on his property, we're on public. We're on public property. Damn, you should have screen recorded that. Because I got the audio. But right here, the signal was looking bad, so it looks all blurry. On that side of We'll that be able to see it with this one, though, right? Later? Yeah, yeah, I have yeah. it on there. So, yeah. Shout out to River. River got it. What's up, guys? What was he saying, River? He was saying, meet me one on one. And get off my property. We're not on your property. We're on public property. And even if we were on his property, he's not here to tell us to leave. He can't tell us over the phone. Oh. But make sure you guys go check it out. There you go. If you guys want to see it, out. I think it's like on nine minutes and 30 seconds. Nine minutes and 30 seconds through Riverside County. Kind of exactly when I'm, when I'm talking to him. Yep, shot him 10 times, you guys. There's a there's a whole link on it, on the whole story of what happened. He shot an unarmed person 10 times, and he beat him. Beat him after they shot him. One of the other officers pulled out a baton and started hitting him with a baton. As a matter of fact, I'll read you guys the story real quick. Let me find the story. Let me show you guys. Hold on. Let me turn this down. Let me mute it because there's somebody passing by with uh, music.
That's the homie Groove Shack Radio right there, you guys. But let me show you. Upland man who was shot 10 times to city police department officers and officers. A man who was shot 10 times police last year is suing the city claiming the officer involved shooting at close range was unjustified. And a lawsuit filed in West Valley Superior Court against Upland's police department and three officers, Upland based attorney Robert Schauer alleges the police officers used excessive force when they shot 18 year old Christian Rodriguez several times at close range and that he did not pose a threat to law enforcement. However, police said last year that Rodriguez was armed with a handgun when he was shot. There was no gun, no knife by their own admission, says Shower. Based on police transcripts, they made a terrible, terrible mistake. The complaint alleges negligence by police officers Craig Sippel, Nicholas Peelman, and John Bonhus for failing to determine if Rodriguez had a weapon and that three officers had a prior custom and practice to harass citizens and use excessive force. The lawsuit also calls into question the supervision and training practices in the department involved in the use of, use of force. I believe they need to review their shooting policy or either improve the training or change the policy, do something so that this doesn't happen again, Shower said. Upland Police Chief Jeff Mendenhall declined to comment, citing the ongoing litigation. The San Bernardino County District Attorney's Office has filed charges against Rodriguez based on a report submitted by the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department. Officials in the District Attorney's Office said investigative reports are not released while a case is ongoing. A hearing on the charges is scheduled for Tuesday. The incident occurred March 19, 2013, when Rodriguez left his home around 1 a.m. after getting in an argument with his mother. The teenager approached Officer Craig Simpson, who was sitting in his patrol vehicle near Greenbelt Park, according to the lawsuit. Rodriguez spoke to the officer briefly and then left on a skateboard. At no point did Rodriguez ever possess, brandish, or threaten the officer with a firearm or weapon of any kind, the lawsuit states. It contradicts a statement by Upland Police last year following the shooting. An Upland Police spokesman said there was a verbal exchange between an officer who was in, patrol, in his patrol car and Rodriguez. Rodriguez reached into his pocket to pull something out and the officer reacted accordingly, said Upland Police spokesman Lieutenant Anthony Yoakum. According to Yoakum, Rodriguez displayed a handgun in a threatening manner and fled as the officer reached for his weapon. Rodriguez fled the scene with the gun in one hand and a skateboard in the other, according to police. He ran from police and was subsequently shot and wounded by officers. Yoakum said he could not comment further because the shooting was under investigation. But Shower said his client only had a backpack, laptop, laptop charger, a notebook, and an energy drink and a skateboard. A weapon was never recovered. It's unclear. It is unclear why the police stated started following him, Shar said. Rodriguez was afraid and asked to be let into a home. Standing behind an iron fence, police officer Sippel and Peelman approached the man. With no reasonable suspicion or probable cause, defendant Sippel discharged his firearm a single time and struck Rodriguez, the lawsuit states. According to the lawsuit, Peelman then used his taser on Rodriguez, causing him to fall on his knees. He was then shot by both Sippo and Peelman, who were about five feet away from him, a total of 10 times in the lower part of his body. Expert testimony I have obtained, I believe the kid was shot three or four times while he was laying on the ground, Char said. The suit goes on to claim Rodriguez was also assaulted by the officers. After being shot, he laid on the ground, his arms spread out. When the third officer, Bonhus, entered the backyard where Rodriguez had gone back on his knees, Bonhus then, then tased Rodriguez and then drew his expandable baton and struck Rodriguez three times in the left shoulder. Rodriguez was taken to Arrowhead Regional Medical Center where he stayed for several weeks before he was taken to Loma Linda Medical Center. Doctors have told Shar that they are surprised Rodriguez survived and referred to him as a walking marvel. Shar said it is, 
inconceivable to him that police officers would do this and need to be held accountable. There's a lot more. Oh, no, this is it. They shot first and thought later, he said. It could be anybody's kid that this could happen to. While Shower did not have an exact amount, the medical cost injured by, uh, incurred by Rodriguez ranges in the hundred thousands of dollars. It won't end there. Shower said Rodriguez will most likely have to deal with medical issues for the rest of his life. Rodriguez is asking a judge to compensate him for damages for the damages he has incurred as well as attorney fees. That was it. My bad, you guys. I'm over here sweating like a motherfucker right now. Let me get closer. The shooting was in 2013. Bleach. And then we have... And Tim Grass.
I need to post it. I want to squeeze it. Our kids are mean. Excuse you. Why don't you make us a recording now? I, I, I watched it like twice. I know. All the comments and everything. Yes. Yeah. It's insane. And he has a mom. I'm like, why are they wearing me recording? I should have been. Right? 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 Around their kids. So They're bus drivers. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This video we posted last guy is about the perspective of the and that is exactly what we're doing. No, the other way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can have that. They are working for a system that targets black and brown communities five times compared to white people. So when I say abolish, you say the police. Abolish! 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 And then when they say, oh, okay, well, if you're brothers, you're brothers. Oh, yeah. One night before. But look at that one. We take care of each other. We do our own police. Community policing. You know, I'm going to do a phone call that these cops can't. They don't even want to do it. You know, they get phone calls for small stuff. They end up killing someone. They end up murdering someone. Every year, the cops are killing more people than ever before. So community policing is the answer. We take care of us. Look how we're doing right now. Look what happened in South Central when the taco vendor got robbed. We got there in eight minutes. Guess how long it took up? Two hours. Two fucking hours after they were robbed at gunpoint. When you have a lady shaking that was sexually assaulted by one of the robbers. You know that? It's fucked so up. who protects us? We do. 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 Hey, hey. Oh, hey. Big Bill, man. Gotta go. Hey, hey. Big Bill, man. Gotta go. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Nick Fieldman's gotta go. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Nick Fieldman's gotta go. Appreciate that, that IG. Better than what we did in 2010. The Cudahy Police Department, they were terrorizing our city. Cops were having sexual relations with, with females under underage. They were having um, fraud with the, with the towing company. Taking away, if you were um, Mexican undocumented in Cudahy, if they would catch you driving, they would take away your car. They would take away 20 cars a day. 20 cars a day. If you go down Atlantic, back in 2009, you would see Officer Mesa stopping five people at the same time, having cars lined up. He would search our, he would search us all the time. And then when we were coming out of a club for no reason, they stopped me and my homies. They searched us. They didn't find anything. So while they were interrupting my fingers and they were searching my car, they broke my finger. Then they told my homies to leave and they started jumping me, kicking me, socking me in my head. I got a, a concussion, a fractured back, a broken finger. So we sued. I started going to the city council meeting. And because they had so many lawsuits against them, against them, the whole police department got disbanded. And even though now, even though now we, we have the sheriffs, and, and I'm not saying the sheriffs are good either, but compared to cutting a police department, we no longer have a cop sitting in a, in a motor vehicle uh, on the landing Boulevard stopping five people a day. And that, that is an accomplishment, and that's something that we can do. If you go to cut it, they're not even around. The sheriffs are not around at all. We don't want them there. We defunded them too. Well, they're not even around. They're not around the city of Cudahy unless you call it. So if you go to Cudahy right now, you can take a fucking red light. No one's gonna stop you. I swear. And everything's been great. Actually, crime actually went down after that. That's right. So when I say abolish door, you say police. Abolish door. Police. Abolish door. Police. Abolish door. Police. Abolish door. Police. Are we gonna let Nick scare us away? No. Are we gonna let Nick Stretch scare us away? No. no. Fucking stalker. Let me get my ex, bitch. Move out! 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 What do we want? Justice! What do we want it? Yeah! What do we want? Justice! Now! If I were to shoot someone at the dumb 10 times, where would I be at right now? Jail! Where would I be at right now? So where does Nick belong?
Nick, I, I know you're watching, Nick. Where you at? You think, you think the cops are gonna go arrest him for, for threatening me? Fuck no. No, they not. They might even give him a promotion after. They might give him a promotion after that. The border! The border! Colonizers! Colonizers! The pigs! The pigs! Stand up! Fight back! Stand up! Fight back! Stand up! Fight back! Stand up! Fight back! Stand up, fight back! Hamas será vencido! Hamas será vencido! Hamas será vencido! Hamas será vencido! Our land! Our land! Justicia! Ahora! Justice! Now! Justice! Now! Christian! Christian! What do we want? Justin! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Justin! When do we want it? Now! We say Nick, y'all say move out. Nick! Move out! Move out! Move out! Move out! Move out! We say fuck, y'all say colonizers, fuck! Colonizers! Fuck! Colonizers! La migra, la migra, la misma porquería, la misma porquería, la misma porquería, la misma porquería. Stand up, fight back. 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 Fuck the police. Fuck the police. Fuck the police. 
Fuck the police! Fuck the police! 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 We didn't cross the border, the border crossed us! We didn't cross the border, the border crossed us! We didn't cross the border, the border crossed us! We didn't cross the border, the border crossed us! We didn't cross the border, the border crossed us! Border crossed us. The border crossed us. Who's land? Our land. Who's land? Our land. Justicia. Ahora. Justicia. Ahora. Justicia. Cuando. When I say Trump train, you say back to Europe. Trump train. 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 Back to Europe. Make some fucking noise, community! Woo! Justice for! Christian! Justice for! Christian! Justice for! Christian! Justice for! Christian! Justice for! Justice for! Justice for! Justice for! Yeah. La migra, la policía. La misma porquería. 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 I say blue lives, y'all say murder. Blue lives. Murder. 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 Jamás será vencido. Jamás será vencido. El pueblo unido. 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 Come on, come on, we gotta wake up all of this hey, bro. so they can get mad at him. <laughs> this time, 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 this you guys well i'm gonna end it right here um if there's anything that pops up i'll bring you guys back in but fuck nick Millman, fuck up lapidi you already know and i'll bring you guys in i'm gonna end it right here though appreciate you guys you know tuning in supporting and until next time i will see you guys when i see you guys riverside Stay on, man. Now I'm gonna end right here, you guys. I'm gonna see if there's anything else going on. 
But until next time, I will see you guys when I see you guys. Riverside County Accountability. I am oh, In this day and age, qualified immunity remains one of the deadliest threats to U.S. citizens. There is no doubt, and as witnessed daily, that as long as police officers in our uncivilized nation are encouraged to murder without consequences, we can expect no improvements to our life expectancy. According to the United States National Academy of Sciences, and I quote, police in the United States kill far more people than do police in other advanced industrial democracies. To date, Colorado, New Mexico, and New York have repealed qualified immunity, and we remain hopeful that in the near future, serial killers with badges will be held accountable for the unreasonable execution of citizens. Furthermore, the Academy of Sciences additionally says, journalists have stepped into this void and initiated a series of systematic efforts to track police-involved killings. And I bid to you, my fellow citizens, that this rampage of certified murders must be stopped for the safety of our children, handicapped, and veterans. Please support the new Institute for Justice and their Americans Against Qualified Immunity campaign. Check them out at www.aaqi.com. You'll also find them on Facebook and Twitter. That's Americans Against Qualified Immunity. That's all for now, my brothers and sisters. Stay safe and always film the police.